Everybody is talking about the Arab world, the Middle East, and etc. And you pretty, you quickly realize that it's it's 14 countries. It's it's not like a one single market entity. So, in fact, you realize you have to to dig market by market. And it's not like the Middle East is quite a concept of to attract investor, but then it comes to operation and business. It, it's quite different. In Lebanon, unfortunately, I think most startups face infrastructure and logistics uh, challenges. Uh, the cost of rent, the cost of uh, electricity, which is not available, internet is getting better, but all those problems um, make work harder and force us to spend more time investing in things that should be available for us, unfortunately. Operating from here, from Beirut, and serving out the whole region, Unless you have people based there, fully dedicated in the in the Middle East, you it's much harder to serve from here out of there rather than having people on ground. Uh, actually, we do uh, games as uh, products and services, and for products we have a big challenge, which, which is discoverability, because on the stores, uh, Google Play and the App Store, there are a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, games and apps, and uh, it's not easy to pop up and for the people to know you. So this is a very big challenge for us to make people know and discover our games. Basically, growth. We've been growing. I mean, it's a good problem to have. We've been growing tremendously, and we ex we would want to scale up to get around 10 million users within the next couple of years at most. Having that much users in a such short period of time is, is can be really deadly if you don't really manage uh, well with your with your users and you really don't really uh, get the needed uh, traction and conversion and revenues. At, uh, at this. Another. Another very important problem is team. I mean, we really need to grow the team. We've been, we started with four people. We are now at around 18 uh, team members and we would want to scale that even up. We have an office in Beirut and now an office in Dubai. Uh, so clearly team is another very imp important critical part of Angami right now. We'll, we'll start with the challenges that we're facing with Laptivity is mainly to find the resources to work more on marketing and sales. Uh, and to do more customer acquisition. We have paid ads, but we need to boost it more and to get more aggressive in the sales part so that people know that they can buy ads. The biggest challenge is that uh, as a startup, we've been operating for a year and a half and we've reached a certain stage where we kind of have to figure out what to do next. And the biggest challenge I faced is deciding whether I want to expand the current offering I have on my website or pivoting and adding on another service and trying to grow in this direction. And making this decision is probably the biggest challenge I have.